Time for the second of the Moore's Millions stayers qualifiers then. And we've only got four in this, so if they get round, they're in. <laughs> That's it, basically. And we've got three miles and seven furlongs, 0 to 120. Nina Zenik, Padraig Hogan, Paul Sotilla, Alex Cherry, Lord Cal, Padraig Hogan, and Diamonds Obi Wan. I suppose I can see the thinking behind this. 0 to 120 Grand National Week. You might get a few people think I'll go in the Moors Millions. They're calling it away rather than run from out of the handicap in the National. But we only had 20 runners in the National, so um, it's a bit of a. Race too far this week, I think. In normal seasons, we get a few more trainers in it, probably be a good idea. But this year, it's going to suffer, I think, on the lack of horses. But these four, if they get round, they'll be in the final next week. But, well, not next week, the week after. But the finals are 3 5 and 4 4, I think. Mistake there by Nina Zenik at the back. And this is race number 3 7, so probably too short for one and too far for the other. So, whether they want to want to be in the final or not, I don't know anyway. So anyway, we'll see. And it's a winner for one of these three trainers, regardless. So and that'll be good because uh, everybody likes to get a winner or two. And they get over the ditch with Paul Satilla in the lead. Lord Cal second, Nina Zenik and Diamonds at the back. So let's hope they all get around and everybody gets their chance to enter the final in a couple of weeks if they want to. Tiller it is. From Lord Callan Nina Zinnick. All safety of it. These Moors Millions races are over in SO6 when I first started contacting regularly at 20 odd runners a week. So many trainers, there was a good big price to get into the farm off. And a uh, good opportunity to run your four miles as well. Obviously, National Week it was probably a bit different because everybody was in the national. What opportunity for these 0 to 120 four milers to get a bit of a chance. And one of them is gonna win. At the moment you want to be on Pulsatilla, which is eight lengths clear and going pretty well. Padraig Hogan having already taken a one two in one of the races I've commentated on today, so he's in form. And Diamonds for Obi Wan is at the back. Obi Wan, just about the only man who knows his champion trainer before the season starts, as he takes the American jumping title every single season. And they get over the next. A bit like the way I always used to win the commentators' trophy when I was battling against Doug and Stu. No chance of that now with Leon. And Pulsatilla is the leader. From Nina Zenik second and Lord Cal third. Diamonds is back in fourth as they get over this ditch. They're all safely over it. And Pulsatilla is clear, even with four runners, we can't keep them all in the screen. That's how well Pulsatilla's going in the lead. Nina Zenik second. Lord Cal is third and Diamonds is back in fourth. Over the eleventh they go. Also for the over the eleventh. Alex Cherry's Pulsatilla. Clear of the battery and Hogan pair, Nina Zenik and Lord Cal. And then Finally, Diamonds for Obi Wan at the back. Over the next ditch, and we'll safely over that one. That's the midway point in the jump in that one, we've got 12 more to get over. And we've still got just slightly less than two miles to go. But so far, all four of them are still on their feet. Heading for a place in the final in two weeks' time. Back at Aintree where we were yesterday for the national. The finals are over the Grand National Fences, of course. And they get over the 14th. 
don't think any of the qualifiers are ever national friendly so that's quite interesting maybe we should have a Moore's Millions qualifier over the national fences in the first meeting and entry in the season when they have the Sefton or whatever the others are called I can't remember now and it's Pulsatilla in the lead Nina Zenic, Lord Cal and Diamonds so it'd be good to make that cross country race we have earlier in the season a qualifier as well but anyway Pulsatilla's in front Nina Zenic and Lord Cal and Diamonds is back in fourth as they get over the next and Pulsatilla was a little bit careful of that one and Diamonds wasn't that's the winning post then, just one more circuit to go. The order has not really changed throughout the entire race, apart from the fact that the Padraig Hogan pair might be swapping places now and again. But the rest of them, it's been Paul Tiller in the lead, the Padraig Hogan pair, and then Diamonds. Over the next they go. Over that one, okay. So Tiller. Leads by three. The Lord Cal and Nina Zenic. Diamond's up the inside over that ditch. Diamond looks to be travelling pretty well now. Switches to the outside. This is a quite interesting final mile here as they get over that one's a mistake by Lord Cal. And we've finally got a change in the order as Diamonds goes past Lord Cal. And it's Pulsatilla who's the leader from Nina Zenik in second, then Diamonds is third, and Lord Cal is now fourth. That's the seven foot on pole they go. And what plenty of jumps to get over. And Pulsatilla over the 20th in the lead from Nina Zenik, Lord Cal, and Diamonds. Over the 21st, and they all took that really well. Four more fences left to take then now, and Pulsatilla leading by two to Nina Zenik in second. Diamonds is cruising in third as they get over the next, and Diamonds jumps up into second. Lord Carl is now the back marker of the four, but it's Pulsatilla now being pushed on by the jockey to kick for home with four furlongs and three fences to take. Pulsatilla opens up again now to five, six length lead. Diamonds is in second, then Nina Zenik and Lord Carl around the outside, but Pulsatilla looks to have got first run them, and with three and a half furlongs to go, if she keeps this up, she should win pretty comfortably. Pulsatilla is racing down towards the five all three fences then with a lead of a good six lengths over the third last but jumped it very slowly and a much better jump by Nina Zenik who's now got going again Diamonds is on the inside Lord Cal is on the outside Pulsatilla though is still clear Pulsatilla going well on the front but jumping a little bit ponderously there's still two furlongs to go and over the second last Pulsatilla jumped that one much better and Nina Zenik is back in second and Pulsatilla maintains his six length lead and it's very difficult to see the chasing three getting to this Pulsatilla now now Pulsatilla with a furlong to go and one more fence to take and a very short running. Pulsatilla leads down to five lengths. It's down to four lengths. Pulsatilla comes down to the final fence. He's going to need to take a nice jump on it. Pulsatilla pops over nicely. Better jump by Nina Zenik. But Pulsatilla's going to hang on. And Pulsatilla wins it from Nina Zenik in second. He's close for third between Lord Cal and Diamonds. And I think they may have ended up finishing in the order that they ran most of the race, they ran most of the race in with Alex Cherry first and Padraig Hogan second and third and Obi-Wan fourth it's close for third but no doubt about the winner Paul Sotilla. and all four have got through to the final so Paul Sotilla then takes it for Alex Cherry Nina Zenit, Padraig Hogan second Lord Cal Padraig Hogan third and Diamonds for Obi-Wan was fourth